Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you how to solve a counting problem. Okay? The counting problem is actually how many non-negative integer solution are there to the equation. All right? Let's say we have this equation here. x1 plus with x2 is equal to, let's say, 5. All right? This is a simple equation. And you're trying to count how many non-negative integer solution that you're going to have, right? So now, of course, you're going to notice there's a non-negative integer here. So what is a non-negative integer? So an integer that is either zero or positive integer, all right? That is a non-negative. So it means that there's a zero there compared to a positive integer, all right? So how are you going to solve this? Okay. let's try to list it up that is the most basic way you can do this so you list out all the possible combination that you might have so for example 0 plus 5 is equals to 5 and then you can have uh, let's say 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 and then 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 and then I'm going to have 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 and also 1 plus 4 is going to be 5 and finally uh, 5 plus 0 is going to be 5 alright okay so if you notice I'm going to have um, alright I'm going to have 6 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 alright 6 non negative integer solutions all right so i have six um, non negative integer solution all right so if the 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 equation the sam the example equation is small you can actually list it out by yourself right? it's very easy for you to do that but let's say the equation gets bigger I don't think so listing it out all will be efficient anymore so that's why we have a uh, how to say a concept okay or, or maybe a graphical aid called stars and bars so it was popularized by um, William Feller okay there's a classic book on probability okay let's try to solve the same problem using the stars and bars um, concept or method okay so let's say I have okay let's try to solve the same equation where uh, x1 plus x2 is equal to 5 all right so you have x1 here and then you have x2 here so i'm going to introduce you to bar now all right so you're going to have a bar just imagine this like a two group right you want to partition them using one bar all right so now you want this let's say this instance to be equals to and then now you need to think how many stars you actually need to have five here so you're going to have like of course you know you're going to you need five stars to generate a five here but now where you're going to put the stars so let's say for example here one star here two star here and then put the remaining three stars here so you're going to have like one two three four five stars so this is actually two plus three right so let's have um okay let's have another instance the same x1 right, i have x2 all right and then okay so all right so maybe i have one star here and then i have the stars here i need this to be equal to five and this is one plus four all right so this is how a stars and bars actually work so based on this information on stars and bars uh, how you planning to count the you how you are planning to find all the possible combination for this equation all right what stars and bars actually say okay you need right let's say we do it here you need the number of stars that is actually five you see eh? five stars is enough for me to generate these numbers here this uh, sum here it's just a matter of 
how you arrange the stars in the uh, the partition or the bars there all right so you just need five stars and then you notice you just need one bus okay so i'm going to write this in a notation of combination all right we call this okay five plus one and then you need to find how many you want to choose but since let's say we choose the number of bars here that is uh, sorry the number of stars here that is actually five so this will give me six choose five all right if i want to write in the in i can even write this as this all right and if you try to calculate this this will give me six all right if you check back your previous answer you see you get six non-negative integer solution and by using the stars and bars or so you actually get six or so all right so some of you might say okay why i choose five not one okay let's say okay we try it here so it's five plus one let's say i choose um one instead and this will give me six choose one and then it's going to be six choose one okay if you check this using your calculator this will give me six or so all right so there's a you know this is a condition that i'm not going to discuss here it's just that you need to know that this will give me um this combination will give me six all right so if you have a doubt on this you can check back the most we when we try to list out just now we gave we have all the six uh, non-negative integer okay let's try to uh, um let's try to do an, another example before we can stop this video a bigger example let's say i have x1 right plus x2 okay plus x3 plus x4 okay um equals to maybe 30 to uh, for, for example okay let's try to solve this so just like what i mentioned previously so x1 x2 x3 and also x4 all right so you see the number of bars is actually is minus one with the number of x you have and then you need to have 30 so how many stars do you think you need for this okay of course i don't want to draw all the stars here then if you try to compare with the smaller example in the previously it's just the numbers number of stars so it means you need 32 stars and then you plus with the number of bars that is actually uh, three and then you choose uh, any either one of these let's say we choose three here and this will give me 35 choose three all right and then if you find out this is actually 35 right? and then three so i think you can use a calculator to find the final value of this so i will conclude this video that stars and bars is a very powerful graphical aid for you to do the counting it can be used for other types of example maybe in other videos i can share with you how to do other types of questions using the stars and bars so thank you very much